Hi everyone, I'm Leanne. I'm Jeannie. And we're the Loose Thread Stitchers. And today is Thursday, April 4th, and this is episode number 26. And here comes my cat. <laughs> Hi, did we just start? Yeah. She's been fine. She's been sleeping on the quilt and everything. And here she is, coming to say hi. This is Willow. That's her tail. <laughs> um, so, updates. Okay. Um, hope everyone had a good Easter. Uh, my husband and I and son, daughter-in-law, and grandkids were able to spend a weekend up north. Um they gave it to us for Christmas. We stayed at an Airbnb and stuff for four days. It was kind of fun. We went out and about around the Brainerd area, Cross Lake area. So, And then the week before that, I was able to go to a friend's lake home for a quilting four day, well, it was supposed to be four day, but snow came in, um, retreat. So that's kind of been my out and abouts for the month of March. And so other than that, we got, what, about a week and a half ago, we got as much snow in three or four days as we did all winter. all winter yeah and now it's almost gone next week will be 60 but we do have snow out there still not a lot yeah we'll get rain next week but yeah we're gonna be up in the 60s so it'll go away yeah spring is actually coming i i would think after next week we could really say we're and i hope it stays for a little bit not yeah. going to summer right away but yeah, last year we had one day of spring and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, gang. All over. Into yeah. the hot summer. No control, but... <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to hop right in. So we'll go on to FFOs. And I do Fully have... Fully finished objects. Yes. And I do have one FFO. And I had started this last time. And it's called Remember Me, Pin Keep. And it's on 40 count... Um, it was supposed to be on 36 count vintage country mocha, but I did 40 count because I always do smaller. <laughs> and there it is. Is that it's, called for Yeah, floss? everything's called for floss. Yep, it's all DMC. Um, I was going to switch it to over dyed and I thought, oh, no, that's okay. There's not much. So. No, that's beautiful. Yep. So The backing is cute too. Yeah, there's the backing. It has tan in it. And then the... Um, I, I had to look for chenille that was dark, and I didn't have any, so I just kind of took a gamble and ordered. It's called Miguel's, M-I-G-U-E-L apostrophe S, navy, and it came, and it's the little skinny chenille that I love. Oh, you didn't know that? No, I it just said chenille, so when you see the picture of it, you know, on the computer, you don't know. Oh. So it did, it came, and it's really skinny, and I like it, and it's perfect. It's a perfect color, navy blue to match the roses, so. It, yes. It's a done deal, so I get to put it up in my little bread boxes up there. Sawdust? Yep, there's sawdust in there, yep. I always put sawdust yeah. in. Yeah, I'm running out, so I oh. gave a uh, text to my brother, who is carpenter by trade he's retired now and just asked him if he's been in his workshop and he told him to save it for me so he's going to get out there now this month and so that's, i've got another supply that's my only ffo so it's up to you now okay well um we're talking about whips uh works in progress that we had carried over and i never really counted mine so I did, and it wasn't too bad. I think I only had a little over a dozen or so, but I've been working on them. So this is one. This I had gotten, I think, at Stitchville, USA, which they're closing in a couple months. But it was on the um, clearance, and it's orange blossoms, and it was supposed to be an eye case. Well, I made it into... A pillow. A <laughs> pin keep. So, Julie's here and she's clapping. <laughs> we have an audience, yes. a quiet audience. And this but, time, usually she sits at the sewing table and sews, but this time she wants to watch us. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're being watched. <laughs> and this one here was a prairie schooler, one of those little cards. That's cute. So... Very springy. There's another class yes, for spring. <laughs> Julie's clapping. And then this was a Teresa Colgate um, ornament. Oh, that's, that's just a little. I've got that shelf going up to my sewing room that has all those little cubicles, so I need right. little sizes. Yep. Then this here is a Lizzie Kate freebie. 
So how do you do this? Can we show freebies? I, I would think. I mean, it's free. This one I did with the uh, walnut shells because I ran out of sawdust. So it's just on um, 14 count Ada with Sulky. Oh, yeah, it looks really good coverage. Sulky. And Krynik. Oh, yeah, she's got a little, her little candle is a bloomin'. It's a firecracker. I know. <laughs> okay, and then this one here, Manny D. Donna. Yep. Liberty Lane pillow. Okay, I got this when I first got back into cross stitching, okay? Not really understanding or looking at patterns for over one. Well, I do Ada. I don't do over one. So the words, liberty, hope, and faith, and bless our land that are on the top and bottom. Oh, they're over one. They're over one. So I got out my book, and I got an alphabet and backstitched. Oh, nice. So... That's cool. It's red, white, and blue all in a row. Yeah. How is this? And I don't know. It's, it's I think, 18 count, but it was just a scrap. Yeah. I'm amazed how many times I watch floss tubes and they're all, wait, I don't know. It's a mystery linen because it's just a scrap. It's good. Yeah. We're using our scraps, just like quilting. We're using yes. our scraps. A little scrappy. Yes. And then we were at Hobby Lobby last month, and they had these little glass egg cups. So I got a wool ball and made <laughs> is she doing she's clapping oh she's... i thought she had other gestures oh no 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 <laughs> she's clapping <laughs> she's laughing so and then i had some little made some little um butterfly pins so I'll, those i'll show you at this time too she gave me a blue one well there was a blue one in the bin so i thought yeah. it didn't it didn't work with my aesthetic <laughs> there blue will always work in my life <laughs> so that's my Fully finishes. Okie dokie. Well, F -F -O you, can, you can keep going to just finishes. You have a now, pile there. I do have some. Yes. Okay. Here again. Or you was, did that one in blue. I did. Because it seemed colder than. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, because it's a snowflake. It's I a see. snowflake. Gotcha. Yes. And it could have been red, blue, or gray. But oh, okay. I'm not there yet. Okay. I just. Okay, this is Emily Ann Foster, 1892, from Hands Across the Sea. There you go. That's better. And I did this with 115 variegated DMC. When I was just up there now, this last weekend I used earphones, so I know what, oh. what this crinkle means. Dobus. 18 count ivory. So here we are. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's not it's not Willow on the floor crawling around. It's Julie. <laughs> she's my cat, she's being ignored, so she's pulling things off of my tree. So Julie's saving my <laughs> ornaments from my tree. Willow's not happy. She's not been happy with me the last few days. I've been pretty busy. <sighs> it's remodeling. Yeah. Okay, then what Julie or what uh, Leanne was talking about was I did it in blue. It's starlit snowflake. This was my snow day stitches. Um, it's it's so Emma. I think I got this one from Mary. So I did it in the four that's really blues. Pretty. Wow, that's on really pretty. eighteen count white Ada. Mm -hmm. That's very beautiful. Then this was a freebie from Colorado Cross Stitcher. Um, it said that if you did it over twenty on twenty five count over one, it would fit on top of a mint tin. Or if you did it thirty two count, it would fit on top of a wooden box from Hobby Lobby. But I I did it eighteen count. I'm going to do a pillow. Oh, okay. Stitchy friends are the best. Oh, very good. 18 count white Ada. Nice. And you threw it under your pattern. There you go. There we go. This one isn't just this came out of the hoop last night. <laughs> the itch to stitch. Yeah, I want to do that one. Um, and that is October, October House Fiber Arts. And I did it in the call for colors on 18 count white Ada. Yeah, just I mean, I watched 
Sunday and Monday episode of American Idol, and I was almost done wow. last night. Well, so. even your two weekends away, you did just fine. Jean. Thank you. <laughs> it didn't slow you down at all. Those were my finishes. Okay, so then we'll move on to whips. Do you have any whips? I do have whips. I will always have whips. You do not have to worry about me and whips. <laughs> I've been working on um, the Smith Sampler. And last time I was up to the swan, I had just a couple stitches in the swan, in the head. <laughs> I guess you could say in the head. Um, so now I've got the whole swan and the blocks above. There's like a quilt block up there and a couple of, I don't know if they're bases or whatever. And I added to the border here quite a bit. And then I went down on the border there. And this is, I'm using all the called for threads. And this is on um, Vintage Meadow Rue by Lakeside Linen, which is the called for. And so there's like Gloriana threads. They're all silks. There's Dinky Dye, Gloriana, um, and Classic Colorworks Belle So they're, mm -hmm. they're very nice. They, they cover really well. I really enjoy working with them. So now I have this other design. It's the same. This big thing is here. And then you start going down. So That's beautiful fabric. It is. I love it. It's very modeled. It's perfect for this. It's, it's very, very, very much fun. I really enjoy working on it. Um, and then I have my Quaker diamonds. I've been working mm -hmm. on this for a while. And so this is the biggest diamond. So that's what I started because everything else up here is pretty much done. So this big diamond is what I started on. And this is a different count than you're normally. Yeah, this is 28 count mellow and that's what it calls for. And, um, I mean, it's fun because you use these Baldani little balls, I'll show them. Um, and they, you use all three threads. What are you doing, Kat? Oh, and um, so I've started the big diamond here. Here's the, it's like a basket with the design. And then there's, I mean, there are several steps to doing this diamond if you look at it there. There's many, many different, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Colors so, are really rich. Yeah, they are. They're very rich, very variegated. I love this one. I really, truly, truly do love this one. This one makes me happy every time I work on it. Um, I am, oh, I told you, 28 count mellow. So So do you have kind of a scheduled rotation? Like I some don't. people or you just I don't. I've been I've been asking people, different floss tubers. I asked um, Karen, formerly monogamous stitcher, what she does. And I kind, of might, I kind of might want to play off of hers a little bit. She does seven days on her oldest whip. I wouldn't do my oldest whip, but um, I might do 10 days on the one I'm, I'm kind of passionate about for the month, I guess. Um, and then she does five days on another stitch and three days on a red. And then the rest of the, mo the month, she does whatever she wants. She lets that. Yeah. Whatever moves so out. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. What you know, whatever the mood. But these are the Baldani little spools, and there's three threads on each thing, and you use all three. Um, oh, you don't separate. No, you don't. I separate them and put them back together. But, right, so they're not tangled. Yeah. Yeah. But I, um, yeah, it's just. Well, that's what I was watching Janet Jabber and Pam from Just Keep Stitching, and they've got like every day of the week is a certain. Um, yeah, and a lot of people do the 25th, they do a Christmas. The yeah, 13th. but this is Mondays for this, Tuesdays for this, Wednesdays for this. Oh, so they have like five different or seven different projects yeah. going and they do one each day. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. Well, it's different. It's it's not like the Smith Sampler. It might be Sampler Saturday. Okay. Or, you know, that way. Right. But yet it's... Yeah, I, I still haven't figured out what I'm doing. I don't know. And so at, um, from the market, I, this is bad, it's a start, but it's Serenity from Teresa Colgate. And I just, back up. Why is a start bad? Well, it's bad because I don't really want to start anymore. I'm trying to get my samplers done. This is a sampler, and I bought this from market because I love it. I mean, and Stitch then what when, you love. Yeah, right. And I, <laughs> you know how everybody picks 
something or they pick a sampler or you pick a pin keeper because of something in it. And oh. it's kind of funny what people like somebody will like the elephant or somebody will like the peacock or see on this her alphabet is so different. It's not it's it's um four. It's A B C D in in a block and then it's E F G in a block. Like a four patch? Kind of or like a nine patch really if you were thinking about it as a quilter because you'd have the the lighter squares i mean you could oh okay yeah but anyway this is serenity and you're going to do it as a whole i am i'm doing the whole dang thing called for everything <laughs> called for everything i found it's um 40 count up in the attic and i found it at the crafty Grimalkin, which is in Maine, which is Missy and Kathy's yeah, and Helen crusted Lee. store. I've bought several things from her now. Hey, it's a new store, isn't it? I think so, because she's had stuff and nobody else has stuff. And so I've made several little orders from her. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you guys have a good crusted store and we're losing ours. But um, So I made a start and I didn't take it out of the hoop. What I did do is there's quite a bit of DMC in her, um, in the, whatever this is. There's quite a bit of DMC in there, in her chart. Well, everything could be DMC if you want it. Correct. Yeah. But she also has Weeks Dye Works and um, two classic color works. So what I did is I, we went down to Stitchfield and Hobby Lobby one day when, <laughs> when Julie couldn't come. So... At Stitchville, I took all the DMCs on a ring, and I, well, I took all the thread, but mainly what I wanted to do was change out the DMC. So now everything is over dyed, and it's kind of a mess. But I switched everything out for over dyed. There's not a DMC in there. So would you have a conversion chart if people asked? Yeah, I do. I wrote it down. Okay. Yep, I could, yes. If you like what you see Ooh, as it develops. That's pretty border. Um, yeah, and this is the fabric, and that's the border. And this is, I worked on it Sunday night and a little bit Monday, and that was it. So it's, um, and our, our friend Diane, she uh, FaceTimes with us and Charlotte and Mary on Saturday nights, and she's B period, A period blessing on Floss Tube if you want to watch her. Um, she started it with me. <laughs> we were both working on it, and we had talked about it, but she found up in the attic at the Crafty Grimalkin, too, because we were both looking for it. You're both working on the Smith sampler, too, aren't you? Yeah, we are. That's really weird. We like similar things. What can I say? <laughs> but um, it's this is beautiful. This is, I love How big this. is it going to be? Um... 40 count, it'll be 16 and 7 eighths by 17. Okay, so square. That's not one of her bigger ones. No, she likes color though. You can tell she's an artist. She likes yes. a lot. Of, and see, I love color because I do scrappy quilts, so I love color. So she, her thread list is. You know, that's what I've heard on different floss tubes. Anyone who talks about Teresa, it's like her color sense is right. amazing. It is. So I think she has a very good color sense, and it, I love every color I've used good so far. Eye. I did switch out. There's a white in there, and I switched it out. Like I said, I'm going to start using the Belle Soise for whatever whites I can find because the stitching, my, my swan is beautiful. And, you know, the DMC whites, and I don't know. I don't like my stitches on them, so... We'll see how it goes, but um, those are my whips. This is a start, I guess, and a whip, but this is the bag I put it in. That's, That's where it bag. lives, huh? That's where it lives, yep. That's where is that it Blackbird lives. on the back? Yeah. Um, no. Oh, okay. That's, That's not part Moda. of your no, Oh, it's, okay. Um, oh, and it's upside down. Didn't know it was in a basket. <laughs> Isn't that a basket? Hmm, No. Maybe not. No, no. It's but kinda... the roses are up, so I must, I don't know. Who knows what I was thinking. Anyway, it looked straight up to me when I did it. So those are my whips. That's what I have been working on. Okay. Come here, Willow. Willow, come here. Come on. She's got to show her stuff. You can't be walking on it. So I went yeah, me back and my whips, and I found this old one. It is from the... 2021 Spring Punch Needle Primitive Stitch Magazine and is um, Stitching with the Housewives, there's Spring Buffalo Plaid. Um, 
And it's on black 18 count, so it is slow going. Oh, yeah. And it hasn't been ironed, but this is as far as I got. Wow. So I can do it better during the day that there's a uh, kind of back backlit almost. Yep, yep. Um, try your... Um... I don't want to sit with a lamp in, or in my lap. One of the, do you have, uh, what is the light call that we use for quilting when you want to copy things for applique and stuff? Oh, like the... Yeah, tracing light? Yeah. You the know, the I table, a, the tracing light? Yeah. Table light, yeah? Yeah. Some people put that on their lap under them. Okay. Or they just do a little fluorescent light if you have one of those little strips for fluorescent lights. Yeah. I don't know, because I got, I have that... <laughs> that lap desk on my lap for my chart and oh, everything. Oh, yeah, you do. Yep. So then it lives in this bag is my Carolyn Manning Sunflower Sympathy, Sim, Symphony. Symphony. <laughs> <laughs> See, aren't we a good team? When I can't say a word, she says it for me. And when she can't say a word, I say it for her. So I'm down, I got four blocks done. And it's oh, the wow. called for DMC. And it's a printed 14 count Ada that Carolyn was selling when she was at Welcome Stitchery. Well, uh, what was this, a year and a half ago? Yep, I think so. Yeah. And you like yellow. Yellow is her favorite color. It is. And then I have started a Sunday stitch in my Sunday stitch bag. <laughs> oh, it has a church. Yeah, and praying hands. Yes, it does. So what else would go in there, right? right? Yep. And it is the doxology that I got at the free table down at Galleria in Missouri last fall. I got just a small start because we got home late on Easter. It is on 18 count Dusty Road by Seraphin, and I'm using the called for DMCs. And this is all the further I got. That's going to be the P in praise. Oh, that's pretty. Those reds but it's pretty. fun. It's kind of like, but then Whipco for April started Monday. So that's when I was doing the sewing things. So it's kind of like, you know, get Whipco out of the way and I might have Sunday all week. Oh, because <laughs> it's it's fun. It's a it's a nice stitch. So mm -hmm. those are my whips. Okay, so then we move on to haul. Okay, Good get your haul. beverage ready. Oh, yeah. it's not that bad. This is um from the Scarlet House. My gift to thee and Missy from Two Needles Pulling Thread. She showed this, and of course I had to get it too. It's go. It's a companion to the. We did a pin keep together. And it's a Christmas one from... Isn't there another one that goes with this? Yeah, that's what I mean. We did that. We did a stitch along together for but the But that wasn't one. the companion one to this? Yes. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh. And I didn't know there was a companion one until she showed it. So, Missy, this is your fault. <laughs> um, and then I got a Stitcher's Alphabet from the Scarlet House. And you can do it on 40 count or... I've seen that board. Yeah, and believe it or not, I bought the board to go on 40 count, and there it is. It's just a cute little board. It came all done? Yeah, it's all done. Oh, nice. And it's from the Homestead Needleworker, and there's two different sizes, and mine is 40, but you can, whatever size, I think it's... 40 count, not $40, right? Yeah, it wasn't $40, no, it's 40 count. Yeah, that's what the 40 is, she wrote 40 count. Um, she talks about... The two different sizes she has but it's very cute it I is it. yeah i like it so i might start that because now my small is done and i got the patriotic Quaker. now are these all market purchases or not not all of them okay that was a market pur purchase okay this is a market purchase okay this i think is the patriotic i like Quaker. that one yeah i do too i gotta get some oh. more of these quakers and then this is a spring quaker which I'm not going to do it in purple. Somebody did it in all different colors, and Charlotte sent me the picture of it and her conversion. So I might. Doesn't Sherry for Colorado Cross Stitcher does she hers does. different? Yep, I think it is Sherry's the lady that sent Charlotte the 
conversion. I think she, it is from Colorado cross stitching. This is Blueberry Ridge Sampler Seasons and it's spring. How big is that? Um, nine, 9.15 inches by 6.2 inches. Okay. So it's kind of small. Kind of small, but not, not I like mean, it's big bigger piece. than a pillow. Right. And then this is that Little House Needleworks. It's the Log Cabin series. They're, um, the, the lady's doing the Log Cabin Christmas, it's called. It's a nine-part series full of wintry designs featuring log cabins, animals, and lots of snowy trees. Well, I ordered the kit. Um, they have a, a thread kit. Oh. For it. Okay. And so I'm going to, I ordered the thread kit. It hasn't come yet. Are you going to do all of the blocks? I think so. And some people are doing them separate. Some are putting them all together on one. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I have to decide because before I look for fabric, I got to decide. But this one says it's a squirrel. And there is a little squirrel right by, boy, I don't know, right by the wagon. There's a little squirrel. There you go. You know, I was watching Made by Michelle McGraw yesterday. And what she was thinking of doing is, is like this or anything that comes in a series. She was doing them vertically because she has a, a space on a wall. Oh, that's... That they could fit. fit. Sure. So she was thinking about, I don't know if it was um, Fall on the Farm or the other one, but she was thinking of whatever would fit. She's doing a beach... Oh, for summer? Yeah. Oh, that makes and that, sense. Th yeah, that sounded... You know, you got you have a strip of wall right there, a couple I of do. them. I do, yep. <laughs> I do have a couple strips. Um, this is Americana Blue by October oh. House Fiber Arts, and A, it's sewing motifs and B it's blue. I mean, he, how can I not get that? Then he had that on. Yeah. Sable stitches. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love that. And then this one is just one I saw. Ooh. And it still says stitch the big pillow, long pillow says still stitching after all these years. And the little octagon pillow says still friends after all these years. And it is by Homespun Elegance. I like that long one finished with the lace with on the With the lace ends. on the ends. I do too. Yeah. So I thought it'd be pretty to get a really pretty variegated blue. So I think I'm going to take oh. this down to Stitchery Nook and look for a blue thread. Or see if, on Stitchville if I can find one. But that was... Um, and then, of course, this is Teresa Colgate oh. and God Saw. Oh, yes. I love that one too. Yes. That's beautiful. These are just absolutely beautiful. And then this is from uh, Market 2. Moments of Glad Grace by Blackbird Designs. That's beautiful. And there's other things in the book, too. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen these by now. This is I Love More Strong. It has three projects. There's the front. Mm -hmm. And then there's the stuff on the back. It's nice to know that Blackbird hasn't stopped. Yes, I'm very happy. And then I found, this is from the Crafty Grimalkin again, 40 Count Inca. I think this is from Market. I think this is a new fabric Fox from and Fox Rabbit. and Rabbit. How and big I, of a piece did you get? I got a half a yard. Um, it has modeling in it. Yeah. Can you see it if I do it on this nice side? Nice and fresh looking. Yeah, and it, it what'd you say? It's kind of creamy yellow with yes. some like brownie tan. Topi. Mo topi modeling in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It it was really pretty. This is a very pretty. Um, it kind of reminds me of vintage metal rule, only a little lighter. What the Smith samplers on? Mm. Only a little, a little more vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Yellowy, lighter, creamier. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful. Um, so that is my haul. Okay. Um, this is a freebie from Modern Folk Embroidery and. Sarah from Sew Me Sarah is going to do a stitch along. Um, it's better to light a single candle than to you're that you're pretty good. Curse, the darkness. curse the darkness. <laughs> and I'm not going to do it in black and white. Yeah. I'm going to do it in a colored. Um, and then this was a free chart from Oh yeah, from Teresa Colgate, Colgate. right? Yes. Yeah. Everybody, I, I've seen um, that a few Oh, times. How He Loves Us. Yes. I didn't get it done for Easter, but I'm going to do it. Um, Celeste Creates, she finished it. Yeah, and did Missy from Two Needles Pulling Thread. Oh, I guess I haven't watched the, the new one yet. Then for Patreon this month, these, oh, I, this is my, I was most excited about these ever. Um, 
Faith, Hope, Peace, and Love. This is for tier two, three, and four. Isn't that pretty? That is. It's all that blue. Are you switching to well, blue? <laughs> it's blue and beige. Yep. And in mo mocha brown. Yeah. yeah. Then this one is Love and Charity, tier three and four. That's pretty. See, they're all blues. Yes, Boy. this month. Switch into blues, my kind of woman. <laughs> and uh, tier four is faith. This, I thought, was That's very beautiful. Pretty. Yeah. You know, blue is the new this year. Blue is the neutral for this year. Oh. Just thought I'd let you know. And then I did an order from Keepsake. So there's 310, that little sticker. And it was... Um, Oh, they're cat. I was going, what three cat? <laughs> when cardinals cat. appear, yeah. I got the chart, JBW, and I got the floss. Oh, cute. They're now pretty I'm gonna, colors. Yes, I'm going to get the um, the bluebird one. I want to make a pair. Okay, then I got the Prairie School Santa. Oh, my goodness. Jeannie has joined the group. Uh, oh, Hawk Run Hollow. I... I'm never going to do that. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, she never was going to do a hot grin hollow. she saw they the farms. The farms. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But it needs like 106. No, not really. Floss. But it's going to, it's 557 wide <laughs> by 185 high. <laughs> so on 20 count, it will be 28 by 10. Jeannie, that's called a sampler. <laughs> well, it's the days of the week. I know, but it's a sampler. <laughs> well, where's the alphabet? Doesn't have to be an alphabet. There's words in there, and there's houses. Okay. So what you decide is a sampler. Then I got some 20-count buttercream oh, by Fiber on a Whim. Yeah, that's really pretty. Got some modeling. Yeah, that's very pretty. Okay. Then, last month, we went down to Stitchville. We did. It's Julie's fault. Yeah, she couldn't come... It costs us lots of money when, when Julie can't, can't come, come and we stitch. We have to go out and about and do something. Yeah. So we both got the oh yeah the book. cookbook. Yep. Who? Someone's doing a sale out of here. You could do any one you want. Is it missing, Kathy? Is it? Maybe. And then they, I got some. This is eighteen Yellowstone. That's pretty. This is 20 blush, 20 count. This is 20 count vintage country mocha, 20 count blue cashmere, and 20 count mimosa. I was watching Vicki, the Virginia stitcher, and she does so much on colored background, you know, kind of muted like this. Right. But then, like she says, her tans and her whites and different things show Pull up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then I got uh, a couple Aaron Elizabeth American flag. This was so cool. That's pretty. And the stitchy tear. So that that was my haul for March. Now we're going to go shopping. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're going stitching. Yeah. We don't have to shop. No, but we're going oh, to... Oh, then I got Jolly Halloween. Look, the little one. Oh, it's cute. We're going down to the Stitchery Nook in Osage for Saturday stitching. And then, but we're going to leave Friday and we're going to kind of stop and shop on our way down and stay overnight so we don't have to get up at the crack of dawn on Saturday to get there. It's almost a three-hour drive. So we are going to stop tomorrow again at Stitchville because she's closing May 1st and everything right 31st. now. 31st. Isn't it May 31st? Oh, is it? I thought it was May 1st. Okay, if it's May 31st, oh. that's fine. But um, everything's 25% off right now. So we thought on the way down we'll stop at Stitchville and take a peek before it all gets bare. <laughs> Because it's, I'm sure her stuff will go fast. In how many years has she been there? Long time, because her aunt owned it before she oh. did. She bought it from her aunt. That's sad to see. I know, because now our closest one is either Welcome Stitchery or Osage. Yeah, we got to go down to the Minnesota border or into Iowa. Yeah, I, I got, I don't know if Justine knows, but she's our only cross-stitch store now. In Minnesota. Yeah, that's sad. I'm sad, because she it was 56 minutes for me to get to Stitchville, and I... I'm going to miss her.
terribly. Um, okay, uh, plans, cross-stitch plans. I got Whipco the, this month. Um, I'm doing the Year of Celebrations by Hands On Design uh, season two. Uh, so I haven't. I started one day on that, and then I'm doing uh, my sewing room. So that's how I got a couple of these sewing things done. So I got a few more days on that, and then so I can, oh Sunday cross. I got my Sunday stitch. <laughs> She's all excited about her Sunday stitch. Yeah. Um, I'm going to keep working on my samplers, and I get to start a new small, which I think is going to be that alphabet one, um, the Stitcher's alphabet, that oh, one. Oh, yeah, you've got the finishing. Yeah, I've got I'll the figure board, out. so, and I, that'll be my first, I guess you'd call it flat, you know. Oh, I yeah. I make pin keeps, so this will be my first flat, which will give me something to learn, you know, a new learning thing, so, um, that is all we got for cross-stitch, gang. So, um, I guess if you're going to move on, have a good day. Happy stitching. Like. Like and subscribe. And we don't have any more holidays to say happy anything. Happy spring. <laughs> I like, spring is my favorite yeah. time, so I'm excited. Um, yeah, so we're going to move on to Turtle Tidbits and Quilting. So have a good day if you're leaving us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And so we'll move on to turtle tidbits. And last time, last month I was talking about turtle eggs and um, my tortoise had laid five eggs and they started to hatch. And I thought I'd show you some pictures of what they look like when they first are starting to hatch. So I'm gonna try it on my tablet so you can see better. Cause when I print them off, they don't, you just can't see them. This is what they look like when they first start cracking the egg. And they usually have an egg tooth on the tip of their nose, and it's just a little hard tooth. You can barely see it, but it's a pointy little tooth right on the end of their nose, and that's what helps them crack the egg open. Bless you, Willow. Um, so this is day one of it cracking. I took that picture. Um, and the tortoises usually crack from the side. It, turtles can crack from the top, back, front, doesn't matter. Um, this is the second day of it coming out of its shell. And how many days does it take from laying to cracking? It can take one, it can take five, it can, it's up to the turtle. Well this, they laid, they laid these in December? She laid these December 16th. Okay. Right, and they normally take right around 100 days um, well, that's what I meant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this one hatched, the first one hatched on March 24th, and she laid them December 16th. Okay. And then the second one, um, Charlotte, our friend, calls it Brawny. Sorry, Willow. Scared my poor kitty to death. Okay, so. She won't come back up here anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Brawny um, is the one, Charlotte named it Brawny because I remember I put a little piece of paper towel on it because it had cracked and um, you put liquid Band-Aid over it. And I talked about that on the last video. So Brawny is cracked, Brawny, Brawny hatched and it cracked on, um, he, it cracked from the back though, not the front because I think because of the Band-Aid on it, it couldn't get through, so it cracked from the back. Um, and how come I can't find that picture? Is that it? There it is. There's Bronnie. <laughs> Charlotte named it Bronnie. You can see the paper towel up here and see it's... I'm, I'm sh I took this picture from the back of the little container there. So in. how do you know that's the back of the egg and not the front? Because when I, I have them in... Um, but maybe you put it in backwards. No, I mean, I don't change them once they're in. I don't switch the eggs around once they're in. No, but I mean, when you put them in there, how do you know? It? Oh, it's the back of the egg or not. But see, they all hatch. It doesn't matter which direction you put the egg in. They tend to hatch at the front. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have no idea. But this is the container. See, the, you get a dozen cookies in these. <laughs> Poor Tom has to eat cookies. <laughs> yeah, isn't that sad? But this is what I keep them in, and I there's holes on the side, so they the eggs the eggs have to have oxygen. So do you have oxygen. to squirt it every once in a while? 
Yes, to keep, these you gotta keep at 60%, somewhere between 60 and 70, you don't want them too wet, because with tortoise eggs, if you get them too wet, they, they actually will blow up. They will keep sucking in the water and crack and blow up. Oh. It's a hard lesson to learn. With my very first set of eggs, and everything I read, nothing had told me that, and I did lose one egg, because it totally cracked. Um, it will absorb, so you have to keep it between 60 and 70. Oh, this strudel twist. <laughs> strudel apple twist. These were for me. <laughs> but this is the front of my container, and so Bronnie hatched from the back. That's, I guess. And I was talking last time about when the turtle is in the egg, there's a yolk attached to their stomach, and it's kind of like the placenta and everything, and they live off of that yolk. So when the turtle hatches, this is what is sticking out of their belly. Away, lady. There. Do you see that yolk in their tummy? And their tummy is still split. The bottom of their tummy is split and this yolk is outside of the tummy. And what happens is for about the next three or four days, they that will get absorbed into their stomach and their stomach will keep coming together to seem together. Is that a mm -hmm. good? And Bronnie's this is icky, I'm sorry, but Bronnie's yolk looked like that. It almost looked, like Jeannie says, it almost looks like cancer or something. So when, Skin cancer. Yeah, when Bronnie's yolk looked like that, I got really nervous because I thought, oh, is it going to make it? So um, I will show you them now. In person? In person, live and in person here. This is the first one. This isn't Bronnie. Oh, come on. Don't you have a name better than the first one? <laughs> Why? This is the first one's belly. And I'll put oh. it up. Do you see? It's almost totally, there's yeah. just a teeny tiny little hole Brilliant. left. Yeah. So all of that yolk, the first picture of the yolk, the nice, the nice one, this is that one. It's, it just has a little indent there still. And, and it's, I don't know. You can see those, but those cute little legs, they look like little elephant legs. They're so cute. And it's so funny because these things, what would you say? How big is that? Two inches? If? Inch yeah, it and looks a half? Silver dollar. Oh, silver little, dollar. But it looks like, you know, like a, a ball of Dalva, uh, Baldani Bunny thread. thread. And the, it's, it's domey and they have their little patterns. He's sticking his head in. Yeah, well done. <laughs> there we go. There's a Ronnie little head. and Veldani. He's kind of scared, so he's sticking his head in. And you'll see how light this one is. So now I'll show you Bronnie. <laughs> and if you want to know, I keep them in these little containers with paper towel in the incubator. Um, it Coke helps. and a cream pie. <laughs> So now, is that for Tom or you? <laughs> both of us, because I got two of them. This is Bronny, and there's his belly, and you see some of it's still kind of hanging. It's goopy. Oh. I don't pull it. I let it dry up. But his belly is still kind of separated a little, and he's still... But you see, like, his tail is black. His head is black. He's got more black running through his legs. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Well, his shell is more black. Oh yeah, he has a lot more black on his shell than yeah. the other one did. But this part of his shell right here is kind of dented in. I don't know if you can, there. Can you see that little dent in? So I don't know if that is because his shell was imperfected or if that will pop out over time. Because their shell, if you squish it now, it's it's kind of flexible still, so. So are, is, are both of these from the same? The Mother yes. and father. Yes. Same mother, same father. Okay. Yes. So they do look different. Everyone has its own pattern, just like the Western painted turtles or anything, even mm. though they come, well, just like you and your brothers and sisters and stuff, you mm -hmm. look different. Um, now I'll show you, there's three left. And this is all from the same hatching? Yeah. These are all... Or from the laying, 12, I mean. 1216. Yeah, these are all from 1216. So let's see how I can. Oh, the can or the chalking or whatever you call it? Yeah, they're not the chalking. This is they're starting to hatch. Ooh. See, there's a crack right there. This one's starting, and this is today. This just started today. No. So they're that many days later. Go ahead. Are tortoises like turtles where you can't rotate? 
Yes, you cannot rotate them. You could okay. now because they're done. They've filled the egg. Right. And okay. They're, 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 once they've popped a hole, they're breathing. See that one? His, what's out? Leg? Shell? I can't really tell. See, there's the crack. But yet this third one, nothing's happening yet. Nothing. But it's heavy. It's very heavy. There's there's a little guy in there. and That one will probably be the last one. Don't shake it. Out. <laughs> no. Shaking baby syndrome. Yeah, don't don't drop them. Or <laughs> yeah. I normally Precious cargo. Right. So it's tilted. Your, uh, oh, your coconut one. cream pie. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, you got to visit bakeries if you're going to have turtles <laughs> and tortoises. To, well, you make use rather than throwing away. You make use of what you if have. A way of recycling. Now, I was talking about when you first have an egg and it's sort of peachy colored. Okay? That when they lay it, it's kind of peachy colored. And then it starts at the top where it gets a white circle as it's called chalking over. And if it does that, it starts with a little circle and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the whole egg is white. And then it's pretty good that you have a fertile egg then. So this, I tried to get a picture. Jeannie said she could see it, so I hope you can. This is an oh, egg. Oh, yes, look oh, at there. Yeah, chalking over. You see the white part? Around the date? Yeah. And then it, it just keeps spreading over the next few days until the egg is totally white. How long ago was that? When did you get that picture? Like a month or two? Oh no no. Um, cause see this this set. She oh, this laid, is a different. This is a different hat. set of eggs. She laid okay. these March tenth. Oh okay. And they're still kind of in the process of chalking over because with tortoises it takes like almost a month before you start seeing. You know they'll be totally white. Um, then you'll start seeing the blood vessels inside. So is this from the same mom? Yep. So three months, she had another. Yeah, and you're going to be interested, but she had another set of three, two. I'll look and see what the date is on those. Oh, that poor lady. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy always thinks these poor things are... Um, I think you got to get that guy out of there. Give her a break. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I take the males out. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but that her she she laid okay so she laid eggs December sixteenth of twenty twenty three, then she laid that was five eggs six eggs one was bad, um, then she laid three eggs on February second, and then she laid five eggs again on the tenth of March. Yep, on the tenth of March, and now she hasn't laid any more eggs. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> but normally I only get one set from her every year, even with the males in there 24-7. Oh. The last two years, she's only laid eggs. This is her third year. And the first two years, she only laid one set, six eggs. That's it for a whole year. Okay. So I don't know if that's now she's like a mature female, so she's able to have more eggs. So you're keeping know. her barefoot and pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so oh. it's kind of interesting. I mean, nature, it, yeah. Yeah, nature. Jeannie doesn't want to live in nature. Because <laughs> you only have a certain amount of time to do whatever you need to do. So that's kind of the whole egg sort of tortoises. cycle. Yeah, yeah, that's tortoises. Turtles are the same. I mean, when Gracie lays eggs, I can show you those. Hers will be a lot smaller. More oval. Will she lay any now this spring? Yeah, and actually this will be the last time you see the turtle tank for the summer because I have to wheel my contraption up to the... Um, I thought I felt a couple eggs in her yesterday. So um, she's always... Her earliest she's laid eggs is April 12th. Ooh. So I really feel like I need to wheel that up and let her know, okay, you've got a place to lay eggs if you need to. Yeah. So, um, so all summer we won't be in front of the turtles because with that contraption there, there's just no room for us to um, film. So you got to get a camera on her so you know when she lays. I do because last year, obviously she laid eggs when I went on vacation and we were down here sewing this winter 
and Jeannie was just coming, or Julie, was, somebody was coming down the stairs with me, and I thought, what is that? I vacuumed. There's something on the rug, and it was a baby turtle, and I, there were five babies, and three survived. The other two died. But yeah. We have three in there swimming around, so I'll let them go once the water, you know, the weather gets nicer. They'll go into a pond or lake or wherever mm -hmm. around here. They're forever so. home. They're forever home, and they're doing really well. They've grown quite a bit. They're eating like crazy, so they're good. Okay, so now we go on to quilts. Mm -hmm. And Leanne has the big reveal. Uh, my big reveal. We can't show the whole thing. Um, Did you take a picture like you said you were going to? No, I will take a picture of it next time because I'm not quite done with the pillow. So yeah. once it's on my bed, I'll put a picture on our our pictures and the, with the pillowcases and the yeah um, with everything. Sham. But this is totally done now. It's totally quilted. Oh my gosh! I, and it's it's an oversized king, isn't it? Yeah, it's an oversized king. So it's pretty dang big. And um, all of the background fabric, it has like samplers in the background. And I made them face all up and down, so when it's on the bed, you can... Now, this is Blackbird fabric and... Yes, uh, and pattern. pattern. Yes, it is. Um, and I mean, that's... these. I think these are 25-inch blocks, so they're On big. point. And they're all... Yeah, they're on point in there. Which means they're diamond-shaped on the... Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Very but nice. But this one took, took a minute to get done. And then... Um, and, and, yeah. and, and this see? will be the first quilt on your bed that on you the made? Bed ever. And I've been quilting for like 38 years. These are the pillows, the pillow shams. They're both the same. So, and I made these dark. I used all the dark blackbird fabric for them. And they're these king size. are not to lay your head on. No, these are just going to be for show. Yeah, these won't be our sleeping pillows. And then in front of the pillows... This is a big pillow. This is 44 by 22. And it's all appliqued. The, the flowers are appliqued. And then the basket, these are so cool because they're made out of rickrack. And this is all basted. The basket is sewn down, but that's as far as I've gotten. These are all just basted. So up. then will you when you quilt it, will you do the rickrack? Stitch the rickrack down? Well, I'm going to stitch the rickrack down now, first oh. with the sewing machine, with okay. an invisible stitch. Like you do and, your applique yeah, pieces. Yeah, like my normal applique pieces. And then when I quilt it, they just did echo quilting around it, so that's what sure. I'm going to do. Yep. Oh, very nice. Yep. And what I did, I was thinking, God, i got to stuff this whole thing with polyfill. Well, it's 22 by 44, so I ordered two 22-inch pillows, and I'll wrap batting around them, I think. And then if I have to stuff some polyfill in the corners or something, I can. Well, what's a king size pillow? Um, twenty by thirty-six. Okay. Because I've done that before, where I put a king size pillow in and then batting on an edge, but that's not quite big enough. Yeah, the forty-four is bigger. Yeah. You know? So I thought, well, that nice. I just thought, oh, all that polyfill, yuck! I didn't want to do that. And then I thought, oh. 22 you can get a 22 inch pillow so well you could make your own pillow i could and even if you got the two you got two two, two, at, two, two. and that is polyfill or something in there i would assume yeah because you could use that for the fill i could then you wouldn't have any lumps or bumps right because i thought well if i wrap it with batting and then like in the corners or wherever there's a little dip or something i can do polyfill you're gonna have to kind of tack them together a little bit yes yeah. i think so yep but that was my thought. We'll see how it ends up. But that's yeah. my thought. And that's my quilt. That took a that took a time. <laughs> that took a while. But, but it's you beautiful. were doing other things in between. I was, yes. And even when it was quilting, it took me a while to quilt. Because then once I was quilting, I was like, oh, that's not enough quilting. So I had to do a little more quilting on it. So, But it's beautiful. So you'll have a picture of it next time, probably in the beginning of the... And then you can start. I know. It'll be on my bed. You'll have to let us know if you if you sleep better. Because <laughs> you take them off, don't you? I take them off at night. Yeah, okay. I do. Because yeah. it's too much. It's too... Yeah, that... I sleep with one little blanket through my middle. That's all I sleep with. I'm too hot. And and that's getting to the point that we're getting TMI here. <laughs> now I got to follow that? Mm hmm Huh. You can do it. Huh. You? And I'm going to go with a whole cloth. <laughs> this is... It's called Rendezvous. It was a kit that we got when we were down at JJ Stitching in February. 
on Julie and Leanne's birthday trip. So this was the uh, fabric in there to make this square, um, 41 inches square. Well, where I was gonna put it, a square just wouldn't fit. So I made it long. long. Oh, pretty. So the fabric does all of the work for me. It does. That's beautiful. So love all the birds. And yeah, stuff. it was a neat, a neat, uh, and yeah, I didn't see any of that fabric there, you know, to buy like a yard yeah. or so. So that was one of them I quilted when I went up to my friend's lake home. And then this is a, it's called a three yard quilt. It's from this book. And it's, it's this one down here. Show them the front. There you go. And I think there's like four or five of these three yard quilt books out. And now she has some five yard quilt books out too. Well, they have it in here where she gives you uh, what you need for fabric if you want to make a twin or a queen king. Oh. You know, the same pattern, but you just get more fabric. Right. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. But when you do these, a lot of times the uh binding which you like to use two inch binding folded in half i like two and a quarter for folded in half but here you do an inch and a quarter and it's single fold i don't like that yeah i don't like that either so, so i like to get a little extra instead of three yards of each so for the binding and then this one here i decided to add a fourth one on and it's my last year's minnesota Shop hop fabric. And I don't really know if there's an up or down. Something fell out. Oh, Something fell out. oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um. There you go. That's sideways, but yeah. So you get to see. So when I did the shop hop, I just bought like a yard of different. Fabrics. Um, fabrics. And that, you've been doing that for years, right? Every year you buy shop hop fabric? I have been, yeah. You've been I think they've been going time. since, is it 08 was the first one for Minnesota? So you've been buying the fabric every year since then, right? Right. Yeah. And I, I got a cabinet in the front bedroom, the one of the spare bedrooms that has all my Minnesota quilts in. Oh. That was the, the, our hostess had made. These are little doilies she painted out of paper that she had on her tables when we went to the quilt retreat. And then it had a little bas Easter basket with candy and oh, stuff in nice. it. Oh, nice. So, Does she have grandchildren? Did she have them painted? Or did she paint it? I think she painted it with grandkids. She said she just put blobs down and then folded oh, it in half. okay, okay. So she used the grandkids' paint, though. Okay, gotcha. That's my quilting. Okay, so that's all we got for quilting. Um, yes. You have any plans for quilting? Well, now Minnesota now does two shop hops. Mar or April and May, it's the whole month. Yep. In certain, um, both months, in certain shops participate. And then in August, I think it goes like three weekends and weeks in between. That was the original one. So I don't know, I got the passport for the one going on now, just because it has six patterns in it too, but I don't know. And that's a magazine you buy, right? And yes. And it has a passport in the middle, yeah. Because we have done, we did it once, twice? Yeah, we did it. The first year. A couple years ago, I think it was one of our birthday yeah. trips, we did. Yeah, last year was. Last year we did some too. Yeah, we did. We was did that? a section. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe we'll do another one. Yeah, we did. Um, I noticed though, the shop, Rush City's participating, Cambridge is participating, and Isani's participating. Oh, nice. So. Yeah, that's nice. If I, if I need a a quick day. <laughs> Get out of the house. <laughs> so I don't know. I haven't got anything really other than our, my club. I got a quilt that I should be starting there with a jelly roll. But that would be my plans for quilting. Um, I have one on the wall that I showed a couple a couple of videos ago, and I I have I've added a couple more blocks to it, but that's going to take me a while. I got two or three that I really anything wanted. on the quilting machine? No, nothing right now. And I don't know if I I have f 
three more king size quilts I can quilt, but I think I'm gonna keep one off at least for right now so I can, I wanna quilt a couple of smalls. So um, our guest bathroom we've been remodeling and it used to have a big large plate glass mirror that went from the left wall all the way to the shower. And we took that off. And I'm just gonna put an antique mirror there, but we got rid of the counter too because the counter went around the sink and then it went on top of the toilet. It's called a banjo counter. I learned that. Well, we had that removed and we put, I put a granite countertop in just over the sink and then we bought a higher toilet for our guest bathroom. So now that's opened up a whole wall above the toilet where I can either put samplers or I can hang a quilt. So I'm gonna hang a quilt while I'm waiting for samplers, but um, it gives me another wall to hang a quilt. So I'm kind of looking at patterns for a smaller quilt to hang there. What too. about your bench out front? Do you need to quilt anything for I that? I do, I have, I need a spring one, I need a summer one. I have, hey, a you have a panel big... with, it has a bike on it for summer. Mm. I don't remember. I think Julie did one with a bike, didn't? Yeah. And then, did we get a 4th of <laughs> July one? I don't remember. Yes, that America the Beautiful. Yes. A kit. Oh, yes, and that's a whole kit, so I could work on that, too. Um, yeah. I do, and I, I haven't done a spring one yet. There's the one with the birds. I haven't even started that yet. I had to finish this bathroom. That's what's slowing You know, when out. you were talking about you, you switched out toilets to a higher one, yep. the Airbnb had a short one. Yes. <laughs> and when you're used to taller ones, yep. I mean, it's like you're going to go down into a <laughs> hole. <laughs> and especially when I, we, I was telling the ladies here, we slept on memory foam and not... I'm not going to recommend it at all. <laughs> and back spasms. So then I go in and it's like, oh my gosh. You know, you kind of wish you were a horse and you could stand up and... <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> well, you just made Julie's day. <laughs> Jeannie's turning red. <laughs> she doesn't talk about bodily functions, so this is pretty good. <laughs> anyway, my back is better. <laughs> That's the best part of the whole show. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, because uh, with Tom's, my husband has Parkinson's, with his Parkinson's and stuff. We replaced the other two toilets w that are higher, but this one, of course, I waited because of that banjo counter and I knew it was going to be more work. So, that's been on your to do list though since for a before while. you retired. Yeah, 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 so I'm happy it's getting done. And this one down here, we kind of remodeled it a little. We had already put the high toilet in, but I took off the plate glass mirror. And we have wainscoting um, like five feet up on the wall with a shelf. But in front where the mirror goes, we just did wainscoting up to where the, the shelves were. And then I put a really old antique mirror there. And I'm very happy with that now. Cause, and then our, our bathroom, our uh, main bathroom and our bedroom, our, what is it? Master bath. Master bath. Um, that has a plate glass mirror. Well, when we were building, they had put a hole in the middle of the wall because they thought we were only going to have one light. Well, when I came back from the lighting, the lady had picked out two lights because we have two sinks. So we have a light above each sink. Well, there's this big oval hole, and I talked about it last time, that it's got this metal plate over it. And I thought, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of plate glass mirrors, but... I so don't... if you got two individual mirrors, one for each sink yeah would the plate or, or would that metal plate be in the middle yep right smack between them where you could cover with a sampler or a quilt <laughs> i could so what i did for right now is i ordered a frame to go around the mirror um so that's mm. coming and um i'll see how i like that because it, it i'd either have to hire somebody to fix that middle or something i don't know i'm i'm not in the mood to think about it right now so It'll be a thinking process. Well, give yourself a break when you finally get done with the other two yes, bathrooms. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And my husband needs a break because with Parkinson's, this is hard on him. It's a lot of different things, and it's stressful for him. And? Um, and, <laughs> and? You? And me because of he cuts things wrong now or something. So it, it it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You work better together younger. Yes. Not so much anymore. Um, so it's, I, I am going to take a, and for his sake too, because after this bathroom gets done, he needs a break more than I do, but we're give, we're taking a break. 
<laughs> at least for the summer. And I'm happy I did this bathroom now because as long as it's taking, we want it done for Christmas because it's my turn for Christmas. So I wanted it done for Christmas. So I'm happy we're doing it now because it's taking a lot longer than we had anticipated. But if you have to take off wallpaper, a steamer is the way to go. It was really, I, I bought a steamer. They aren't that expensive. And it worked extremely well. Was it the, um, the what do you call that, vinyl? Um, no, my my paper isn't vinyl, but um, it, it's a rectangle. It's almost like eight and a half by 11 or 12 by whatever. This plastic thing that you hold on the wall and the steam blows. Oh. And um, so what happens is the first couple minutes you hold it there, you get the top layer off. The top oh. layer just peels right off. So do you score it at all with that? No. they oh. said, Everything I watched said, don't do that because you'll score the wall. So I did try it, and they're right. You get little dents in your wall, and you don't want that. Okay. So um, it worked perfect without doing that. You just put that steamer on for, I don't know, a minute. And then you can, it just, the top layer just peels right off. So once I got the whole strip done, then I went back and you just put it on for like 30 seconds in that back paper layer with the glue. I just had, if you know what a five in one tool is or a putty knife, a wide putty knife, it just flew right off. I mean, hmm. it takes time, but it's easy. Okay. And I, I think I did it three hours a day for probably three days and I was done. We had... The vinyl wallpaper one time in our bathroom in the old, or not in the bathroom, in the um, dining room in the old house. And the windows in that dining room faced west where we didn't have a lot of window covering on. That wallpaper was like baked on. Oh, sure. From the sun. Yeah. yeah. Vinyl, though, they say is usually easier. Usually you can just peel off the first layer. Pe yep. Peel yeah. it off in one piece. Mine weren't. And I had wallpaper... I had a chair rail wallpaper underneath and a lot more. And we have nine foot ceiling, so there was a lot. Of, and I had a border. So, um, it, it, but it did. It took three days. It was very easy. And believe it or not, I'm putting wallpaper up again above the chair rail. And I'm doing wainscoting on the bottom and I'm painting it. So, You're doing a border? No, no border. Okay. Mm -mm. So, um, I ordered wallpaper. It's called Scandinavian wallpaper and they're out of Florida. So I thought, okay, I got the sample, love it, ordered it. It's coming from Sweden. Yeah. And today I looked, it's in Denmark. <laughs> well, it was weird because they have a store in Florida. I just yeah. assumed it would come from Florida. They don't so, have a, a warehouse, though. Obviously, their distribution center is in Sweden. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's And authentic. now all the wallpaper is either sticky that you peel and stick, or it's totally unpasted. Oh. And mine is unpasted. So what you do is you actually roll around the paste now and then put the wallpaper you on. You still got to book it or whatever? No booking. Oh. No booking anymore. So I've watched several YouTubes. It looks pretty easy. It's actually easier because you don't book. And there's no shrinkage. And so I'm. we'll see. I'll put my first piece up and either swear or love it. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. I like wallpaper. I love wallpaper. So, um. We'll see how it goes. It's just, the bathroom will look totally different, though, so. Okay, that was a long story for nothing. So we're heading to Stitchery Nook on Saturday. Um, so we're leaving tomorrow, and just, we're going to stop at Stitchville and maybe some other spots, antique stores or something on the way down. And thrift stores. Yeah, thrift stores, whatever yeah. we can find. So that will be fun. I will be happy to get out of here for a couple of days. I know she's been gone and she probably wants the weekend to be home and I'm going, get me out of here. Well, one. you know, I don't even put my suitcase away anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just stayed in the bed. Just leave it out by yeah. the closet door ready to go at any yeah. moment's notice. And that's a Dean say, are you going to take it downstairs? It's like, whoa, wait. And when I'm going to be home, yes, I will. Yeah, because I haven't seen you for a month, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, we went to Stitchville and that was the last time I saw her. So I, haven't, I did see Julie last week. And that's, otherwise, I hadn't seen her either because she went on vacation to Florida, too. I'm the only one that stays home around here. <laughs> but I like staying home. But I do like to get out. I yes. Do, I do. It's yes. fun. So. All right, gang. That's all we have to say. It's too Thank much. Goodness. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll see you in a month. And she yep. keeps us on track now. So we're doing just fine. Yeah, we'll see you beginning of May. Right. So... Subscribe and have a happy stitching. Like and love your comments. Keep the comments yeah, coming. Yeah, those are funny. Some of them are really good. So we'll see you Thank next you. time. Bye. Bye.